Hey Rapid Nation, welcome back to an Iraq update. Let's jump right into it and let's get rapid. In confirmation to the Shafak News al-Sudan E request setting a session for tomorrow, Thursday, to vote on his cabinet formation. Next, the government comment on the decline in the dollar exchange rate during the past days. Al-Sudani talked about wanting to change the exchange rate to the dollar. There has been a lot of talk about it. Well, this has caused problems that are harmful under these rumors and factors or so-called colored market information where people go out and they sell their foreign currency and they get taken an advantage of where those holding, they actually buy the dollars at a cheaper rate from those holders. And this has caused big problems in the market today. So of course, Wednesday, a member of the finance committee, Maraf, confirmed the Central Bank of Iraq has no intentions on changing the exchange rate of the dollar against the U.S. dollar. Looks like Parliament's going to publish a agenda of its session for tomorrow, Thursday, on including voting on Sudanese government only. So look forward to that agenda. Parliament came out and did reject for tomorrow's session, but now Halabosi sets tomorrow, Thursday, for the date for voting on the cabinet. And it sounds like he's Al Sudan. He's going to show up with a surprise, and this is going to be uh, names of the cabinet candidates. Um, there are some names that were leaked on social media that are incorrect, and so he has new names, new candidates to share with everybody stay with me here because i got some surprising news i'm going to play a video clip for you but let's first get through some rapid headlines rubini warns of imminent dollar crash the fed is going to wimp out in the inflation fight he served in the clinton administration as a senior economist in the white house council economic advisor then moved to the treasury department as an advisor and he has a big long article here but i'm just sticking to the headline at the end of this video you're going to see me buy Buy fractional gold from my digital gold wallet. Stay tuned for that. No pictures are popping up, but hey, let's just hit the headlines. There is a diesel problem. There's like 23 days left before diesel dries up. How the diesel crisis became an inflationary time bomb. Next, gas price crisis overshadows a crisis in oil prices because gas prices are high. Oil prices are a little low right now than where they should be. And that's why they're saying it overshadows. Global energy transition might take 30 years, Saudi finance minister says. India explores programmable CBDC digital rupee with expiry dates. The Reserve Bank of India launches a central bank digital currency pilot program exploring programmability and setting expiry dates. Yeah, these CBDC currencies, they're going to be programmable. They can be based on your behavior of spending. I'm sure a lot of you know that already. Here we go again. There is lawmakers trip over privacy and security of the digital dollar a global monetary reset is here countries no longer want to be held hostage warns frank gustra i wanted to share this youtube channel with you it's called redacted i've been listening to it for the last couple of weeks they're just full of great information alternative information that you're just not going to hear from the media sources on tv and you might recognize these individuals certainly this man who came from a certain news channel. He just didn't want to do it anymore. He wanted to tell the real news. They're going to be talking about the NATO-led charge against the, the Russian-Ukraine war and what the U.S. and NATO is doing. And this is just a clip. I'll keep it short, but you're going to be surprised if you don't know this already. War in Ukraine that we want to bring you. First, let's start with Al-Qaeda. Some major news tonight. Of course, we've been covering the fact that Al-Qaeda and ISIS terrorists are now being recruited by NATO and Ukrainian government to come fight in Ukraine. Yeah, and he gets more involved in telling that story. He actually had an individual on last week's podcast who is actually one of those individuals has been hired and how much they're getting paid thousands of dollars of U.S. taxpayers' money to go leave certain parts of the world like Syria, ISIS members being paid by taxpayers' money to go fight the Russians over in Ukraine. Raise your hand if this is new new information to you. Like your yeah, so yeah, tell me in the comments below, is this new to you? Being recruited by NATO and Ukrainian forces to fight. Yeah, that's happening. We've covered it as well. So $1,000 stipends of the U.S. 
taxpayers dollars who do you think's paying for this this is a nato funded this is a u.s funded slush nato fund. funded slush fund that's being able to divvy this money out all right here is an iraqi newspaper talking about what is going on with isis over in syria Listen to what he has to say, and I'll keep it short. And again, this is called Redacted YouTube channel if you want to go check it out. This is amazing. We're actually getting news from Iraqi journalists, Iraqi newspapers. So this is an Iraqi newspaper on the number of terrorists who are now leaving Syria, heading into Ukraine, and they will be paid for with your tax dollars. Um, the Iraq edition of El... The Iraqi edition of the Al Alarm reports that dozens of Al linked militants have left for Ukraine from a Syrian province of Idlib to participate in hostilities against Russia. There you have it. I'm going to move on to the next and then be done with this video. Who wants to see me buy $20 worth of gold? Okay, you don't have to have 19, whatever gold price per ounce is, $1,700 to buy an ounce of gold. You can work your way up to it through allocating your money through a sound money wallet. This is awesome. This is an amazing way to buy silver and gold, silver eagles or gold eagles using your digital wallet. 100% controlled by you, and you can move silver to gold, gold back to silver, and then cash it, and then you can write to your bank account. So you can send money over, put money in, $20, $100, however much you want, and then you can allocate it between silver and gold, and then request physical at any time that you want at today's price, not what it is when they get around to doing it. I'm gonna put some links down below to a frequently asked questions that the founders and the CEO answer questions about the Sound Money Wallet that's here in the United States and how you can have access to it. And there's just follow those steps and then send me an email if you would like to get your very own Sound Money Wallet. This amount could be any amount that you sent over. Mine happens to be 664. I'm gonna be buy, just purchase, I'm gonna click on transfer to buy gold or sil silver. In this case is going to be gold. And I'm gonna pick it from my cash balance. And once you pick transfer from, transfer to, it's going to be into a gold balance. And the amount could be any amount. It could be a dollar. It could be $10,000. Mine's gonna be 20. Processing fee is free. Click on transfer. And it shows my transaction history right there. Then I can pull it out at any time. But this is a long-term vision. I have goals in mind. But any time that I need my cash or my precious metals, I can request it. Again, the information is down below if you want to take a look. Get a hold of me if you have any questions whatsoever. Stay rapid, everybody.